Sherwood High School students start hybrid learning next week and they're returning to a brand new school. It was just finished at the end of last year. Students and staff Drew really haven't gotten a chance to use it yet no. because of distance learning. But the plan they have in place there, Brenda, is absolutely awesome. So teachers are going to try to use the school's new construction as an opportunity to get more students interested in careers that they may not have thought about. Brian Clerkley is live in Sherwood right now at the high school talking about exactly how teachers are going to do this. Hello there, Bryant. Good morning, Drew and Brenda. And when students come into this new school next week, they're going to walk into some brand new state of the art facilities. The school has a sky bridge and a four story classroom wing with 110 room rooms in 12 just for the sciences and teachers in the career and technical education program also developed a new virtual class. The hope is to use these new upgrades to get kids interested in skilled trade careers. I think that we're just trying to transform the stigma of trade students or CTE students versus the college track. And I think that's, it's been really successful here in Sherwood. Our CTE programs have been, and I think that stigma will eventually fizzle with a little bit more legwork from our teachers. That's agriculture and welding teacher Allison Meadows' goal, to get more students interested in trades. The new Sherwood High School is 350,000 square feet and was just completed at the end of last year. This is Meadows' new upgraded classroom where students will learn how to weld. We've added a lot more um, technology. We've advanced a lot of our machinery so that we can offer more things to students. Um, I think that's the, probably the part that I'm most excited about. Meadows, along with another teacher, developed a nine-week program for students interested in the trades. Part of the class is learning from construction workers who helped build the new school and professionals working in other industries. Bringing in professionals in steam fitters, um, welding, electricians, um, exteriors, drywall, concrete, a lot of different variety of, of industry professionals to teach students about what trades they can go into in the future. On the first day of the virtual program last November, only three out of 180 students were interested in pursuing a career in one of the trades. By the end of the program, around half were interested. Meadows says it's all about exposing the kids to a variety of professions. If you want to go into construction, great, but that's, it's not going to hurt you to take a welding class to understand the process of welding. That's a lifelong skill. Now there's around 140 kids in the class this semester, and Meadows says next year they want to expand the program. Back to you guys. All right, that is a, a really cool program they have going on there in Sherwood. I was kind of hoping.